Not yet. All right. All right, guys. So I am live. We are live from the Perform Better Functional Training Summit. And I wanted to take a minute to, actually a couple minutes, to have a, a coffee with Coach, a series that we started, and spend some time with some of my uh, favorite people in the fitness industry. And so sitting next to me is Army Leg. And uh, he has quite a, a history within the fitness industry. And so part of this is me wanting to speak with Army, but in addition, I wanted to learn more about, uh, uh, learn and share more about his origins, but also kind of what's next for Army and what uh, his first experiences uh, at the uh, Perform Better Functional Training Summit are. So, uh, first of all, a little background on yourself in Twitter speak. In Twitter so quick, speak, quick. right. So I've been a health and fitness writer for about five years and I'm currently uh, the content manager at Shredded by Science. Cool. That was Twitter. That was definitely short and sweet. On point. And this is your first Perform Better Functional Training Summit, but not your first summit. Or, no. Or no, not your first like seminar. No, no. I've been to uh, a lot of different seminars, but about four or five fitness seminars. Cool. And your latest project that you just released was called? Uh, the Fit Traveler. The yeah. Fit Traveler. Can you give us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so essentially it just tells you what to do when you are on the road to stay in shape. Basically, how to eat, how to train, to uh, kind of stay on track towards your uh, exercise goals or your fitness goals. And so with the, the Fit Traveler, do you find that there are certain tendencies of people overall? Like, was it a kind of a blank slate or was it like actual guides for morning workouts, mid midday? What, what, what kind of structure was it? Right, so it was more of an, uh, trying to teach the general principles of how to stay in shape while traveling. Uh, and I've actually had more requests for exactly what you're talking about, where it's just much more specific. Um, so I'll definitely be doing another version uh, in some context, in, I don't know, later this year probably, or early next year, uh, that goes into more of that. Excellent. And this being your first Perform Better Functional Training Summit, uh, today's day one, technically, although we were here yesterday. Yep. Uh, what, what have you found to be the most differentiating factor between this and potentially any other seminar or like mm. weekends uh, that you've been to this year? Sure, so the other events that I've been to, um, you know, I went to the Fitness Summit in Kansas City, then I went to Epic Summit in the UK, and those were very similar in that uh, a lot of the same people attended, it was far more informal, um, and it was more of a thing where it was like an open forum, where it's like, oh, anybody, you know, you know wouldn't anybody show up, but they handpicked a few people they know would present good information and basically said, you know, whatever you want to present on, show up, and it was a lot more casual. Um, and then ISN, uh, ISSN Texas, uh, that was the last one I went to, it was a little more like this, where they really reached out and brought in people from different companies, very well-known researchers, and gave a much more formal presentation. Uh, but that one was all nutrition, so this is in many ways kind of the counterpart in terms of exercise and training and programming. Awesome, awesome. And I, and I think the coolest part about this weekend, because I was at the Fitness Summit, obviously, yeah, too, yeah. is uh, the, the, the same truth remains from the fitness summit. It's not necessarily what you learn, it's what you're able to execute. Yeah. It's what you're able, uh, who you're able to meet and establish relationships with. I know that's how we started at the, um, the fitness summit. And I think the, the carryover from the, the weekend to um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, for most people is gonna be impactful. That's the reason we're yeah. going. But that, that carryover from the fitness summit and the principles and the methods and some of the, the best practices. That's, I think, ultimately what um, these uh, these weekends tend to be really special for is for establishing those kind of, oh, this is the best practice, or this is yeah. this is the best way to go about this method. So, uh, yeah, definitely agree. Um, what can people expect from you in the near future? What's what's some of the things that you're you're working on? Yeah, so I'm working on uh, a few different books. Um, I don't, I can't give too much information on those yet, but uh, just yeah, you ought to follow Shredded by Science because they're going to be uh, leaking a little more info about that as we go. Um, so that's uh, my next kind of big book project, and then uh, seminars and uh, hosting some events probably in the New York City area. But uh, again, nothing's quite formalized, so you're going to have to follow structure to learn more about that. Awesome, good plug, good plug, structure. Um, Last question I have for you would be kind of a little bit more personal, a little bit professional at the same token, but what would you say would be, with your history in the fitness industry, um, and it's not talked about often, I speak about it openly and candidly, what would you say would be one of the struggles of either 
a being in the fitness industry in general, or even from your personal experience, uh, mm. a, a, a struggle and something that could turn a lot of people off, contribute to the, the high turnover rates, but maybe a tidbit that you can offer people who are passionate about fitness, thinking about giving up, but they just need to dig a little deeper or reach out to that one person to, to help them along. What would you say would be the, um, so I guess there's two questions. What would you say maybe you notice people struggle with in the fitness industry, both professionally and personally, and then maybe any anecdotes from your history? Mm, so are we talking about fitness professionals? Like, yes. Okay, yep. so for fitness professionals, uh, I think one of the biggest things people struggle with, and this is true for myself too, so I can kind of knock both of these questions down, is sales. Like, it's learning how to effectively sell something that oftentimes people don't really know what they want, right? They come in and it's like, oh, I want to get healthier. It's like, well, like, oh, I want to get leaner. It's like, well, it's very hard to define success. That quantification is right. It's not like, hard. yeah, it's not like when people walk into Sears and they're like, I need a vacuum cleaner. Like, there's a very clear, like, you know, goal. Okay, they walk out with vacuum cleaner. Boom. But with fitness, it's very different because there's no standard. You know, if you walk into any different gym, you might get completely different approaches. And so trainers have a lot of trouble selling that because it is such a variable, fickle thing to sell. Um, so I would say, and that's very true for me too. Um, so a few things that help with that are a, you know, learning who you want to sell to. Uh, your sales practices for, you know, the, if you want to work with elite athletes are going to be very different for general population. People. Sure. Uh, and then the second thing uh, would be just get better at sales, and that just takes practice. Um, so I would say those are the two biggest things, and you know, to help improve sales, generally work with somebody who's much better at that, like yourself or you know, some other gym owner. But I would say selling this stuff ethically and effectively, and those are hard to balance sometimes. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the fitness space, and you'll see a lot of people breaking their tools too. So, become an ethical, effective salesman to fitness. That's what I would say people should work on. Ethical, effective salesman in fitness. I think that's a good title for, anyways. So, uh, for more from Army, um, find you at uh, at Army Leg at Army Leg on Twitter, uh, and I think I'm the same thing on Instagram too. Um, yep. And then you ought to go to Shredded by Science if you ShreddedbyScience.com if you want to learn more about some of the upcoming projects. Excellent. And we'll be talking more about your Fit Traveler uh, in the near future as well. Cool. So stay tuned for more from Coffee with Coach and Structure Personal Fitness and Army Leg. Thanks, Tommy. Yeah, man. Good stuff. I should have given you a hug. You should have. <laughs>